Here we have our practice question. So you are developing a new drug called Miracle Mist in a preclinical mouse model. To better understand the drug in your model, you have just completed a pharmacokinetic study following an IV dose of 20 milligrams of the drug. The plasma concentrations fit well to the following equation. Plasma concentration is equal to 30E to the negative 3T plus 15E to the negative 0.2T. This matches the model of A times E to the negative alpha T plus B times E to the negative beta T. So the first question is asking, what is the volume of distribution of the central slash plasma compartment? We will be using the equations on our formula sheet under a single dose pharmacokinetics two compartment model. So first we will define some variables. We have our A being 30, alpha is 3, B is 15, and beta is 0 0.2. So when solving for our volume of distribution, since we know that V is equal to dose over C0 and C0 is equal to A plus B, we can substitute that into our volume of distribution equation. So we have V is equal to the dose of 20 milligrams divided by A plus B or 30 plus 15, and we get 0.44 liters. The next question is asking for the clearance, and we know that clearance is equal to the dose over AUC. And with the two compartment model, we know that AUC is equal to A over alpha plus B over beta. So we can use this to solve for AUC and plug it into our clearance formula. We have AUC is equal to 30 over 3 plus 15 over 0 0.2 is equal to 85. Then when solving for clearance, we have 20 milligrams divided by the AUC of 85, and we get 0 0.235 liters per hour. Next, we need to solve for the terminal half-life of the drug. We know that the half-life is equal to ln of 2, or 0 0.693 divided by k. Since the question is specifically asking for the terminal half-life, we know to use the beta k, since that will be our elimination path, and we know alpha represents the distribution of a drug. Therefore, we have 0 0.693 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to a terminal half-life of 3.5 hours. Next, we want to find the value of the microconstant K, governing the first order elimination process from the central slash plasma compartment. So it's important to understand that macroconstants alpha and beta do not equal any of the microconstant Ks. The macroconstants represent the overall effects of the microconstants, Therefore, when solving for k, we can use the original equation clearance is equal to k times v, and rearrange our equation to solve for k. And we get k is equal to clearance over volume, so 0 0.235 over 0 0.44, and we get a k of 0 0.535 per hour. Next, we will interpret the data using the two-compartment model and solving for the values of k12 and k21. Using these equations, we will first solve for K21, since we have all the variables required, and to solve for K12, we would need the value of K21. So to make it easier, we can rearrange the middle K equation and solve for K21. So K21 would be equal to alpha times beta divided by the K we just solved for. So plugging in our values, we get 3 times 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.535, and determine that K21 is equal to 1.12 per hour. Now we can use this value and solve for k12, which is equal to our alpha of 3 plus beta 0 0.2 minus k21, in which we got 1.12 minus our k of 0 0.535, and we get 1.546 per hour as our k12. Lastly, we want to determine how long after you administer an IV bolus would you need to wait for the distribution phase to be mostly complete. So since we know that we need to wait for half-lives to ensure completion of the distribution phase, we first need to find the half-life of the distribution phase using our alpha k, since this represents the distribution phase of the drug. Therefore, the half-life would be equal to ln of 2, or 0.693, divided by 3, and we get 0.231 hours. And 4 times that would be 0.92 hours until the distribution phase is mostly complete. Thank you so much for listening.